and she Mm-hmm. Papa, you know, white, 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 the proper, the proper, yeah, like European, white, like no other languages, just, <laughs> just English. Yeah, English. I remember it was, it was a couple years ago, I was in Vancouver and uh, we went to visit uh, a church. So, uh, so there was a lady in the front and she's wearing a very, very, very tight dress. And we all just, you know, we went through the service, everything, going to like get something to eat. And he's like, did you see that girl's Duna in the front? And I was like, huh? <laughs> I was even shocked. I'm like, I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Bronx Men YouTube channel. Today I am doing an interview alone. Bright is attending his graduation. He's a full doc now, PhD. He's passed out of his PhD, my partner. So right now wow. I have to respect him on the channel. <laughs> All the news that we make, I have to stop. Anyway, so, um, I'm, and I'm also not in the US, I'm actually in Canada, and I'm seeing, visiting my friend uh, as part of my trip here, and I'll be wondering what, what we're going to be talking about today. So, this is Edna, that's my friend. She has a bit of an interesting background. So, the first time we met, <laughs> yes, I was a beast man at a, a friend's wedding. And then I meet all these people, including what seemed like a very wise girl. No, <laughs> really, I just say hi to everybody. And then for my parents, I hear somebody speaking now. I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> is, it, is it me or what? Apparently, this wise lady here, who or at least looks white, yeah, is very fluent in Ga. And the, uh, the, this interview is going to be in Ga and in English. Um, we struck up a conversation. I was actually interested in her story. The reason why I'm doing this interview is because I want to delve into how parents can raise their kids, especially parents living in the diaspora, to be able to be bilingual, like speak, mm. speak their, their, their languages and stuff. And that's why like, I wanted to inter- interview you. So, if it will, if it will you will more. Um, I follow Okay. I follow Oh, I should say Lawu. Let her cast me. Me and then I'll ask me. Bread you and I told me, eh, well, in your mother. I'm mixed. You're mixed. I'm mixed. Okay. But, yeah, I've got, well, what, what Ghanaians would call Hafka. Okay. So, um, I grew up in Ghana and um, very, very, very fluent, very, very ga. Very ga. Very ga. Um, me, papa, who am I? So I have that. Yeah. I have the. I won't say I have Ghanaian features because you won't see that I am yeah, Ghanaian yeah, at yeah. all. But I have more of like her like features, and I have some of my dad's dad. my dad's color basically. Yeah. I look. You everybody. Look like your mom. Your I, my mom. Yes, basically. I'm yeah. the mini version. Or the younger version mm-hmm. of my mother <laughs> in white. So, so like, but it's, your mom is mixed too, right? She's like, yeah. she says that she's Africa. Yeah. So I guess that's how come like you look more white than Ghanaian yes. because your mom is mixed. That's right. So like, I, I'm interested in your childhood, right? Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you grow up here? I thought we had DNA. Right. Or you were born in Ghana. Like how 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 do you end up knowing how to speak Ghana? And actually, to be honest, the first thing you met well, after we spoke Ghana for a little bit, I was my Ghana was suspect. How did you? Can you talk to us a little bit about your childhood? Um. Okay. So my parents met in Ghana, but um, my mom migrated here to Canada. Okay. Okay. So, um, my mom was Ghanaian. Yeah. My papa, you know, can communicate. Yeah, white, 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 white. The proper, yeah. the proper, yeah, like European, white, like no other languages, just, <laughs> just English, <laughs> just English. Dad, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, <laughs> but just very, yeah, very English. Very English yeah. So, um, I think. The thing that I will I, I will say and I respect my dad and very uh, to this day like honestly it still blows my mind is the fact that my dad was very open to the fact that he wanted us to speak more than just English okay. he wanted us to have a broad perspective of what the world is and yeah. to know that like we belong here yeah. and he wanted yeah he wanted that other language to play a fact in our upbringing so would you say that like the, the ability to speak um, not, 
See, for a lot for a lot of people who grew up outside of Ghana and being able to speak, let's say, Chi or Ghana or something, mm. most of the time both parents will speak their speak their language. Right. And then they speak it in the house. Right. But you know, your, from your story, you are getting like, oh mommy penny you your gun. Oh mommy penny you are then for some reason it's your dad me impressed it upon her because she like she he wants you guys to be able to speak um Ghana as well. Right. As as English and since you're in Canada, do you speak any French? Um, <laughs> I'm probably <laughs> yeah. When it comes to French, you and I are the same. Like, so. I will say that. I will say that. I, I can't write French. I, okay, I can't like. Read it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are, you are talking about do you know your papa make sure I can like your mother? What are some of the tools that he used? Because maybe like somebody's watching this and they want their children to be able to pick up right. You know, foreign language. I, I won't say that. Or like kind of my language. my dad was. I think my parents were in agreement. I think that's what's important. They have to be on the same page. I have like Ihe me like wokume ye Ghana, and whereas my my aunt is speaks Ghana at home, yeah. and then Ichi Kwen like he's like nah. I don't do Kwen. Uncle. So yeah, in Chukwe, like uh, Ashanti Nyoni, it was it's not now you treat it pay as yeah. And so even the kids going to like a school that they teach Ga, like it was a problem for him. So he even switched schools with them. Like oh, he wow. switched, yeah, he switched their school. Them, he wanted them to like be free. And li- they live in Ghana, right? And so I think having like having both people on the same page mm-hmm. plays a big big part in it because like yeah my dad was open to the idea whereas there's some men that won't be they're like okay this is my this is my culture you need to learn yeah. our culture because oh he bad kind of thing yeah, you know yeah, yeah. and so i find that was like the issue with them but thankfully like even though that was like a rule in the house they still picked up the gun so they're very they're fluent in both oh, yeah. but again like it it i feel like it plays a big part for them to be on the same page okay so now when we move from your mother and your father are on the same page. Yeah. Dad wants is very um, interested in making sure that your real guy is shark and everything. Yeah. Me, your mother, your mother is the one who is the custodian of the life. <laughs> so if if it's all mommy, make sure I can you more. Like, is it like when you come home, you don't speak any other language, you only speak Ga or what? Because those are some of the things that I've heard from other people. Like, right. Oh, if you are there, you can't keep it. Yeah. Right. Maybe, maybe when you go to school, then maybe you can speak. Right, whatever you language. Know, like whatever language you're speaking. Yeah. Right. If you call Bashian, Gampa, like what are the practical things that your mom did to make sure that mm-hmm. that's how you guys were? I think oh, I think the first thing, it came on me a bit on Queen, but I get back at eh, oh credit goes to like my kids, you know. I mean I'm in town, I'm in great. <laughs> like we both I think we both uh, we appreciate each other in the sense that like my mom will say that we're open to idea. Yes. Yeah. And then on top of that, like I won't say she's strict about it, but it was very clear that like there's never been even men and men and then take it from me, gang kele you all. Yeah, can't in chip bluff if you will me no and a bluff no you all no 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 you are no 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 you are it was sunning blammy and gummy, right? So I think that was like a big part of it. Not that she was like strict Nick, like, oh, we more gone. Like yeah. she was like, if you are gone, you won't. Well, you are echo. It was that was kind of the the upbringing in the yeah. sense that like, well, like okay, okay, cool. I'm a I'm a papa that she and you want fair one you are before you are. But it sure funny. I think my dad also felt felt left out because if it's more more fair one you are gone. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's in there. Yeah, no, but oh, but she, I mean, no, fair one, you ain't gone. Chat, chat. Your father left out. Blow for it, what? Your father left out crazy because, like, he has to be in a situation where he's oh, he's left out sometimes. Right? right. But then still saying that, like, yeah, you guys should learn this. Mm-hmm. I yeah, think he didn't he didn't really understand the effect of the decision he made till <laughs> like around the time I was like eight, nine, ten years old. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. yeah, and then it was just like, okay, we'll film on quite TV, no, black guy, yeah. but maybe, 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 no. Like, and then he's I oh, like, oh shoot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I think that was yeah, I, I, like full props to him in the sense that like yeah, he really there's some situations where like yeah, I think he was left out and he's like yeah. we, can we speak English, we speak please? Well, of course, you saw me. Can you mean what? Why you? What? Why you no kuni was money banu? Speak English. 
but no, for the most part, like yeah, I can't open what I see and like can papa tasha low equal and no name in care or yeah, or you are bluffo. But or equal le pet, yeah, well you are bluffo, but cash in my make it or come to gas on you. Did you you guys like use cause I you guys use like books or things like that? Because I know there are um some folks that have and maybe maybe it wasn't available yeah. at the time, but there are books that are catered to us um, teaching kids in their diaspora no. local languages. Right. Yeah, I didn't use any of that. Okay, how about yeah, things like Tumolala, music and uh, hello movies? Can you be a <laughs> I mean, we're, we're very much in that. Yeah. So did in that. Oh, I need that. Is that a no? Do you think I need my dad to keep? Ima, like we we'll watch, we watch like Bollywood movies, Nollywood movies. Like we're very. My kak, Ima, Ima, me, Bamo, Dan. Like both my parents, the sense, we're we're for Ghana, yeah, wow. Okay. It was okay, like, yeah. So Nick became Jimmy when like two, three years old. We are Ghana, we are in Ghana. In my mind, it could be a short area. I mean, mm-hmm. at that time, eh, I don't think it was as big of a problem as it is now, where you find you won't find kids speaking Ga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas like that now, it's <laughs> yeah. But I think it was a lot more evident that there was more kids speaking the language, and okay. so it could be a short like in my get my new um in wokume, in my wokume, can be a fair like I'm about all my stuff. So it wasn't like we're very much immersed in the culture, culture. and so okay, what they like. We go a month, two months, three months, and then we come back. Um, so my parents were very good about that, especially like Imami, honey, where you call me, where you we were you like, <laughs> like we were very much emerging in culture. And I think that's like um, not just the fact that she's speaking at home, but we would go home. So some of it is like music and movies and stuff is for like general Ghanaian culture. Right. Not specifically now. Cause right. I, 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 well, Bubak, Bubak, Bubak was a thing when I was a kid. Bubak, tiny. Yeah. The, there was Ghana song. Bubak had a... Gara, tiny. Gara, tiny. Gara, tiny. Gara, tiny. Uh, what? Yeah. At the time, you can give me a, uh, what? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, like all the rap is gone. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I knew tiny, tiny songs like that. No, no, no. Go back with like, like. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. So the music and the movie and stuff is like for general Ghanaian culture. Like right, that. right, right. And then with with respect to the language, um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys speak amongst mostly with your mom and your siblings. Right. And then you guys. <laughs> Travel home very often. Yeah. You will make sure of those things is what you attribute. Yeah. Say, this is why, like, you're able to speak. Yeah. And also feel very Ghanaian and co- connected to the culture. Right. Well. Okay. When it comes to the issue of like, um, when you're near your siblings, mm. um, so I met someone who also has a very interesting background. But yeah. like, the the mother and the father are both Ghanaian. So right. They're actually not Ghana, but they grew up mm. in Accra, so they speak they speak Ghana right. very fluently. And then he was born in the United States. Okay. But the funny thing is that he, being the first child, speaks Ghana fluently. He, does, he doesn't speak any other Ghanaian language, but right. like, yeah, he speaks Ghana appreciably well. Yeah. Uh, but his siblings, his younger siblings, mm-hmm. don't speak Ghana that well. And I was actually confused. Thinking, mm. Okay, well, if there were only two people in the house at the time you were growing up and you right. were able to pick it up, how right. is that now there's three people yeah. and your younger sibling is not able to pick it up? Is that the case in your, or like, what is the dynamic there? I, I think in your view, um, for I, I find that that's a common problem. Okay. What does that happen? <laughs> How does that happen? Personally, I think that um, it gets to a point where because. In my situation, like my mom just immigrated here, mm-hmm. so I think fresh, fresh from Ghana, right? Mm-hmm. So that that's the first thing. I think the second thing is that, like, yeah, my my both, I had an adopted uh, my auntie Ikome Ikewaya she at home. So two two very strong Ghan people, okay. right? Okay. That just immigrated from Ghana. Yeah. And then um, my brother, I don't think was was very young at the time, so speaking the language. So now there's there's three of them. Okay. And then there's me. There's you. Okay. Um, so I come into the the picture, and then they're learning about Canada. Okay. So I find that like usually the, the reason why the first one is able to like pick it up is because of that 
they they they're still accustomed still to the Ghanaian the Ghanaian culture, yeah. and then they're trying to now figure out okay, what is the U.S. or U.S. in this yeah, case, yeah, yeah. what is the culture like, all that kind of thing, and it gets to a point where because they want to assimilate yeah. into society, yeah, some of you are bluffing, yeah, you kind of lose it a little bit, right? Yeah. And so it's like okay, and then your friends generally it's like okay, you have to speak English now. The job you're speaking English, you're speaking English at school, yeah. and so that that knack or that like wanting to yeah, like speak your local language yeah. now decreases so the longer it goes most likely it's going to get lost right so it's very high likelihood that your kids might not be able to speak down I are not very intentional about right that that's what i'm saying yeah and i feel like yeah. like i said because we we travel back home like yeah. that was it's your pony can shit gonna need you know you're able to go back like in god my god is like impeccable like even right now my god is not <laughs> But anyway, okay, so 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 that's cool, that's cool. Um I guess like um community here. Right. Um do you did you grow up in a Ghanaian because sometimes Ghanaians live in close proximity right. or even the test church and things like that. Right. Is it is it part of the reason why you're able to like speak or did that contribute? Do you were you in contact with any Ghanaians here in Canada or um so Vancouver I grew up in Vancouver. Yeah. Vancouver doesn't have well in my personal opinion, I don't think it has a large Ghanaian community. Okay. Um I had a few I had one uncle that spoke Ghana when I was growing up. Yeah. Um but like when he comes to the house he's talking to my parents. If he talks to us he's usually speaking English. He doesn't usually speak Ghana with us. He's really on the problem. <laughs> His kids actually don't. His kids don't actually speak any like of his yeah, local languages yeah. either. They're now kind of trying to get like in touch with the exactly. culture. They eat with the they eat the food, but they don't yeah. speak any languages. Um, but yeah, I just I just found that like it was really I, honestly. My mom held the fort. My mom yeah. really held the fort because yeah. yeah. it's it, like to look at it now and like when people ask me like, oh, you can speak God. Like for me, it doesn't seem like a big thing because I just find that it's okay. It's your it's your mother tongue, right? Yeah. But I think. Um, like you're, you were saying, like the circumstance into which I can speak the language, yeah. it's, it's really hard for a lot of people because they yeah. can't keep it up. Yeah, because I, I mean, I think in general, raising kids outside of Ghana and mm-hmm. um, ma- you know, making sure that they're able to speak any Ghanaian language right. is hard in itself. Right. Then, they, then when you layer on that, mm-hmm. it's only one parent that actually speaks right. the language. That's uh, a yeah. layer of difficulty, right? right? So I guess that's where it becomes a person. And I mean, I the thing too is, if I saw a darker skinned person or like someone who looks obviously Ghanaian, yeah. being able to speak, I'm like, okay, yeah, your parents have done a good job. Right. The, 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 the thing with you is, I don't expect it. Right? Right. A lot of people don't expect that you'll be able to speak because right. nobody assumes that right. you're even Ghanaian to start with. 100%. Right? So they're like, oh, wait. Really? <laughs> <laughs> <Not again. laughs> so when you go to, when 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 you go to Ghana, is it um fascinating to you maybe like people are speaking or they're talking about you and they don't know that you speak because I said <laughs> when we had when we had the, the wedding. So I got in there, you know, I said hi to everybody yeah. generally, right? And you know, in my mind I was like, Oh, XYZ has a because everybody was Ghanaian, right. like, but then I also know that she, um, our friend, our mutual friend, yeah. the nurse, you, you know, right. Olivia, we interacted a lot of people, so I wasn't, you know, surprised, surprised. to see that the, one of the good men, who's, um, surprise me, surprise me for quite a while, yeah, yeah, and then I was like, ah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the way you check it, I was thinking it was hilarious, I said something, <laughs> to my mouth, <laughs> I said, do you have those experiences where you are somewhere people don't know? I live for them. I will lie. Like, I, the, the best, what, like... What was the best one? Like, someone said something. Oh. And you realize that you actually understand. Um, so my mom's, like, my mom's best friend of... I think they they lived in the same area, and then they kept yeah. in touch. And unfortunately, his uh, mother passed away. So we went to the one-year anniversary. Like, it was just me and my mom, and we went. And I was supposed to, like, help out with a couple of things. So... Mm-hmm. Um, as you, if you know, like where my mom grew up, yeah. is it the roads? I won't say the roads aren't the greatest. They're all paved and everything, yeah, but they're yeah. very narrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's not that hair. <laughs> it's not that hair. It's not. They're not like it's very UK. Like it's very narrow road. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so part of the colonial whatever. Exactly. So the, the setup and everything is very narrow. So in Mami Apake, it was a little bit further from where the venue was actually like yeah. setting up and all that. So I was like, okay, cool. I know the area very well because it's not a, it's an area we frequent yeah. once in a while. So I was like, okay, let me let me go. So we yeah, I knock out small pools, yeah, bad thing. And so there's two guys. I guess they're watching the kids play and all of that. And then they're like, hey, uh, Obruni, Obruni, and then they're like they're calling me or whatever. And so I'm not I'm not saying anything. Okay, hey, come on, no, no. At that time, oh. so yeah, yeah. So sorry. So to give more like background, I was like 11 at the time, yeah. and I had braces. Yeah. So at that, and when I was going to Ghana, it wasn't um like a really normal thing like it is right now. Yeah. So it was very new. I think even for me, it was pretty. It was pretty new here too, because I never when they mentioned yeah, braces. Yeah, yeah, nobody really had brace braces. I think later after I got braces, and a couple of kids in my class got it. Yeah. But yeah, I was 11. I'm wearing braces. I don't like the smile at that time. <laughs> so I don't even know how they saw it, but they're like, hey, club, a club, look on your end. You know the one, Jata. And I'm like, you, you see, the thing is, because in my bank, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I don't bite. 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 I fight with my mouth. So <laughs> I was, but but I was like, okay, I don't bite. I don't bite. I don't bite. I don't bite. Right? Yeah, I don't bite. Came, but I was just, I was actually gonna ignore the whole thing because I was just like, it's, it's yeah. whatever, right? I'm 11. It's, it's, it's all good. And then. I'm like, you know, I can't get me. It was like, okay, cool, whatever. I'm going back. Oh, bro, no, bro, no. oh, come, 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 come. I'm like, no, can you know to my jata? Me and the other, 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 Oh my goodness, it was the most hilarious. I've never seen someone's face drop like that. Like that. It was, the, and I'm like, at 11 years old, it's very sick. Like, I felt like on top of the world. <laughs> I was like, yes, <laughs> <Been lit. laughs> Um. So, yeah, so I went back to my mom and I didn't even tell her what happened. I didn't even say anything because I was like, yeah, maybe my response was a little over the top. Over the top yeah, because, um, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. How often do you go to Ghana? Um, usually once, once at least a year, every two years. I haven't gone in the last two years, that's bad. Hopefully this year, you know. Fingers crossed. I have crossed. a lot of money. Uh-uh. Geshka, man. don't talk about. Don't know what they mean. I'll do the Um, But yeah, so I, yeah, I try to, my mom now lives in Ghana, so I try oh, to. Yeah, mom moved to okay. Yeah, she moved permanently in uh, 2016, 2017, somewhere there, so. I go, I try at least to go and visit her and she comes here once in a while. So, um, we try to like keep it even, at least spend time with her, you know? Yeah. I'm make up Papa me Amanda. Chai. One that she have a woman that. She have a woman that. Just like we have a woman that as well. So, what's the, what's the advantage in your view of being bilingual? Um, especially in a Ghanaian language, like, you know, we get to, not just, so because, like, if you, for example, if you were bilingual, like, French, right, um, in Canada, right. you're mostly just connected to Canada, I don't think most people who speak French, you have any, like, real connection with France, for example, but, like, in your case, yeah. you speak Ghana, uh, you are immersed in the culture and right. everything, and you also have, like, somewhere that you can also go home, right. go relax, let your head down, right. come back to Canada. Just having that option. Right. Even the, the, the benefit of speaking the language, right? right. What, what would you see is the biggest benefit of it? Well, I think with anybody, even if, like, it was Quebec French, for example, I feel like anybody that speaks, like, two languages, you have um, yeah. a deeper respect, yeah. I think, for other people um, and their cultures. There's... Um, a certain level of like openness to like try other things I think um, I feel like at least in my experience I feel like when you learn another language you respect you have more respect for other people so that's like the biggest thing speaking of, like knowing a Ghanaian language especially Ga um, I really enjoy speaking Ga like I really like <laughs> I'm, I'm, my mom is Ga my dad is um, right yeah 
what I hear somebody speaking there, it gives me a certain level of joy that I don't get when I, when I hear true. somebody speaking to you. I don't know, <laughs> I'm like that. Like, I really like the gala. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. Like, I really, I really enjoy it. Like, yeah. I feel like there's just a level of, um, there's just, um, so I won't say wait, but like, just when you speak it, you, you know you're in command. Like, oh, it won't. No, it won't. Oh, yeah, that won't. But like, yeah, like when you got a phone, you are there. Okay, no one's back. There's a vibe. There's good vibes. There's good vibes. Yeah. There's good vibes. And so yeah. I just find that, like, yeah, like when people are able to, like, you're able to connect with people on that level and, like, understand them, yeah. it's, it just makes doing things and doing community, community yeah. so much more, like, fun and easier like yeah. i just find that even with like my girlfriends like mm-hmm. when i speak to them we're, we're like we're vibing everything yeah. is good there's lots of laughs even when you're joking guys it's, yeah. it's just so sweet it has, it has a, it has yeah it is me and when you saw somebody <laughs> <laughs> it hits it hits even the cheap people feel it <laughs> oh give me a clean man a cl- there's no a clean, clean one. Is there a clean one? There's no clean one. My, my mom has a. I don't. To be honest, I don't know what the meaning of that insult is. Mm. Don't know who I, I don't like. I don't know. Who it's is. an animal face. <laughs> yeah. Quine. It's. It, quine, I don't know what quan is, but it's an animal it's face. An animal. It's a. It's a. Like what I do here? Like it's literally that level. That come up quan here. Like I feel it in my face. <laughs> Like, but any any okay so yeah come on do here yeah. yes, I do do that I do do that so um for for your dad right for right. example like does he speak any Ghana at all you know what is so funny is that oh, he, he, he should <laughs> I won't even say I won't even say that like he knows like if we're talking about him he knows we're he talking knows about him yeah. yeah he has an idea that I'm we're talking about him cool it. um. <laughs> How do we call it? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Papa is too obvious. Uh, for the longest time, Oche. Because, like, you so know. If he watches this video, he will know all the times you said Oche. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he caught on. He, he caught, caught on, right? So because it was, I think, it. yeah, yeah. So I think at some point we changed it to Ajako. <laughs> I mean, o- and, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You know the the um the, the actor, yeah yeah the actor. The actor. Why? He so he's a comedian. Like honestly, <laughs> so even like if uh, my parents are like having an argument or something, like I find that just the the actions afterwards or like some of the things that I've seen him do, it's just it's just funny. Yeah, like community. like even like I wish I could I could tell you the stories, but there's <laughs> there, there was one. <laughs> There was like one obvious one, and we're just like, yes, this is a perfect nickname for you. <laughs> but I remember it was it was a couple of years ago. I was in Vancouver, and uh, we went to visit uh, a church. Yeah. So um, the the pastor there was a long time friend of both my parents, and they're like, oh, let's just go visit the church and you know see how the pastor is doing, all that kind of thing. We visit, and oh, church, church, man. So there was a lady in the front, and she was wearing a very, very, very tight dress. And it was, very, <laughs> it was it was a very tight dress. I personally like I noticed, but it wasn't like on like I was just like okay, like whatever. She was sitting in the front row, and we all just you know we went through the service everything. And it snowed that day, so I didn't drive. My dad drove me, yeah. and then we were going to like get something to eat. And he's like, "Did you see that girl's uh, Duna in the front?" And I was like, "Huh?" <laughs> I was even shocked. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> oh, he's like, the girls do not. And I was like, ah! <laughs> my, my father just said a God word. I, and me, myself, I'm shocked. <laughs> I that hey, and a conversation. <laughs> do you think that your connection to Ghana means that you probably marry a Ghanaian or a Ghana man to be specific or like... <laughs> And how does that influence, like, you know, when you're looking for partners and things like that? Do you think that it gives you a certain sense that you're looking for, for, for a way to connect more to the culture, to the country, you know, all that? I, I think it would be nice. I, I don't make that, like, um... Do you think it's in the back of your mind? Like, sub- like if you think about it subconsciously, do you think that it's in the back of your mind? I'm grateful my friends are here. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're we laughing right now. Because <laughs> we, yeah, we don't have any conversations about this, but, like... I think subconsciously, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I think to a certain degree, like, I want it, yeah. but do I, like, need yeah. it? And I think that that's, and that's where I'm at, right? I'm like, I, there's certain qualities that I need, and yeah. if those are met, and he, he does, like, if those are met, and he doesn't... <laughs> like, if, yeah, like, 
Will I be disappointed? Maybe. Yeah. But I think the most important thing, the things that I need in a person, if they have yeah, it, yeah. then it's like, yeah. if they have it, great. Great bonus. It's like yeah. literally yeah. the... Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't want you to know what you mean. Wow. I don't want you to know what you mean. Like, okay, okay. I have a list though. I have a list. I have a list. So, okay. So, okay. 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 Get she eleven, twelve. It doesn't matter what time. Get one then. She my yeah yeah. Call me trophy. Trophy I can't ban me. You won't even tell me now. There's there's always a link. There's always a connection. Don't worry about that. Trophy plug. No, there's always a trophy plug. There's always somebody that has it, and my mom will find it. Okay. It's no problem. Okay. Call me trophy, and then um, Kelly Willie like Kelly Willie is another. So if if I don't get my kinky, trophy and Kelly Willie will suffice. Nice. Okay. I'm good. But yeah, those three combos, they have to come and meet me at the airport. My mom knows I'll be very disappointed. We, it's all a good thing. It's a good <laughs> Again, my mom has the connections. Yeah, me and B, Sunny. I can hear back. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. No need more, you know, like, no need care. Okay, only anyone will be like, yes, see my shishi. Yes. See my And then, um, literally the next day, you know, Fufui, like, no, not she, or it's one, not she, or. Yeah, I don't like meat fufu. I don't eat it's any of that. It's, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't hit the same way. It, there's a difference. People that know hey, that they know. Why would they sweat him too? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want, I want hard work and love put into the fufu. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. That's it. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, yeah, so um, next day, either Chomba or like, uh, in your quick comment, no, me, Ibashi, I mean, Ibashi. So, afternoon, afternoon, fufui. I have to, like, at least to get it out of my system, the craving, at least three days or like once a week, you know, for the first few weeks, and then I can, I can, I can take that, that contentment to back to Canada. <laughs> um, Banku ke, um, Ingmami, Wonu. Yeah. Uh, Ingmami, Flo. Yeah. And uh, you know, you know, that's <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's a that's a nice, a, a nice. <laughs> oh, I forgot go back, I forgot go back, yeah, 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 yeah. So, that, that, those, those small things. <laughs> So no, that that's my combo. That's, that's like my yeah, those are my faves. Like my favorite. No, yeah. Oh oh, I'm sorry. The fufu yeah, yeah, and granola soup. You don't I like light soup. Mm. Not really. Mm. That's like the third one. I I ha- I rather have palm nut soup. Okay, I like palm nut soup. Yeah, so so granola. Have you seen quickly before? Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, homawa, drink homawa. I see. Um, what do you make of maybe the one last question and yeah. then we can go. What do you make of Ghanaians, right, who are living in Ghana, mm. but they are for some reason I don't know why there are some people that they don't want their children to speak the language. Find ways to shelter them from. I don't know. I don't know if it's intentional or. Oh, it's not intentional. Like, well, some people just live in certain places where. They don't really interact with a lot of people, and then mm. like their kids go to certain types of schools where right. their their focus is not really on making sure that the kids can be. They will be, they will teach French or Spanish, but right. <laughs> not teach again. <laughs> no, I find that it is intentional. Um, and for I went to school in Ghana at some point. Okay. When so yeah, yeah, so I went for a year and a half. I was in Genesis one, and then I graduated to two before I came back here. I see. So. The thing is, with all the kids I interacted with, the, the people that speak a local language, it's either because, like, I had Ashanti's in my class, I had Elwes. Elwes usually speak Ghana for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but was, maybe where they live in stuff like I don't think it's that. I think Elwes just prefer to speak Ghana. I don't know why. I, 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 I can't tell you why. But I just, I find that they, they prefer to. So Elwes are actually speaking Ghana. But um, if they don't speak the local language, I've been told that the reason why is because they, 
they want them to go into good schools and they want them to actually speak English properly. So it they it is like a focus on one language, English, basically. Like, yeah. And then the the downside to that is that now if you they don't speak good English at home, so then <laughs> you know, don't please I, like don't come for me. But basically, it, 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 it was a it's thing in my class. English. Yeah, no, for in my class, it was literally a thing where it's like, okay, like speak. We want you to speak English at school, but you yourself don't speak English well. Yeah. And then you want your kids to speak, but they're copying. They copy and see like everything that. you see, right? You see and do. So it's not just the teachers, but when they come home and you're speaking English, yeah. you're not speaking the proper English either. So yeah. you're it's it's on an ongoing cycle of just like yeah, yeah, yeah. they're not learning any language efficiently. Yeah. So I'm like, for me, Some people have concerns, like the people that live here, for example, right. have concerns that maybe their kids may not be able to assimilate well with. And there's that, there's that fear too. And I think for here, yeah. like that makes sense. Did you have any challenges assimilating with like Canadian culture and Canadian just because you could speak another language? So I started mixing Ghana English. I got a little confused when I was oh, two years okay. old. So the only person that could really understand me till I could figure it out for myself to like split the languages with my mom okay. so i remember i told my mom and my mom literally laughs at me all the time about this to this day is i asked her where's my kutukas and my dad's like huh <laughs> uh what are you saying and my mom's like and my mom's just there laughing but it's like oh in the kutuka yo, right where are my where are my slippers yeah um and so my dad is like um what <laughs> And my mom was just laughing. And so, I, like, at some point, yeah, I didn't mix the languages together. But that's only because, like, there's there's a lot of reasons for that, like, scientifically that I now know. But um, when I started going to preschool, yeah, I could speak yeah, English. Speak yeah, English. I could literally split between the two. So, yeah, I'll come and talk with my mom in Gar, and then I'll come and talk with the kids in English yeah. or my dad. Yeah. So, no, it wasn't difficult. I find that any time, because you're speaking English with everybody else, mm -hmm. there's no way you can speak English. Yeah. And even if you live here in Canada, you'll find that, like, the Asian kids have this, the uh, East they Indian, speak they speak their own languages. So even when they come to school, they will pick up the English language. Yeah. There's some kids that, yeah, they do ESL for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, but once by, like, grade one, grade two, they, they speak they English. Speak English. What, what, what would be your message for parents who are, you know, in that dilemma and thinking maybe can, can be a big low tree, can be a, I mean, I mean, anybody who is contemplating whether or not to encourage their kids to, to, to uh, learn a right. language or really any other language, you know. L language is so, uh, like, it really is a part of um, identity. And I, you know, I wanted to give you a speech in that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo, no. Speech, okay. Speech. Mm -hmm. um, our language is a major part. Yeah. It will, like, in short, and let your mama work in your name, come here. I mean, now, I mean, by now, maybe we more. When I can, ni ni ye, ke jeme ya, ke na kani be a fair, like he. Yeah. But I, in our like, ni wo ga, e ha ni inye. I can embrace those cultures as fully because I speak both languages and I understand the cultures. But call you more, if more, no off. Yeah, no 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 koye jemeni. Like you're missing, and everybody will tell you, especially being mixed. Like there's there's definitely it gets to a point there's some people that have identity crisis. It's like, okay, you are bluffo, but or wherever, or in that kuni. If you fit everywhere, you don't fit anywhere. Literally. But like, if you know how to speak the language, that gives you somewhere to connect. Like, I honestly, know how to speak honestly, because even na na mi po ake gara njimi e kente jeme. I I I make sure I am full on the Ghanaian. <laughs> I make sure, right? And I think uh, the other side of it too is like, like in ye nyani me pony, like I me woku me keni biye, I me be bluffo. Yeah. It was if it's more okay in Kenya, we but in a no no ni wo me na wo no ni wo wo me na jenu. It was it was the more few they have in the vacuum machine. In a na, ona and I think that's like a major part of it. Like your grandparents, your 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 parents in general. Like there's some things that 
they won't be able to communicate to you in yeah. English. There's, I bet you can, like, I need a fan of yeah. Akev, or, like, it only makes sense, it makes sense in, in, in that language. language. In, in that and so there's like even like go okay we block me then like it doesn't make sense no you don't get the nuggets always <laughs> okay. no so yeah so I think there's there's always like identity is a big part of it but mm-hmm. I think communication like I said it really does broaden your your um your like your perspective yeah. in terms of how you receive things and I think too like there's there's a certain level of respect that I have for my mom, like, and even to this day, like, in Biolada, I'm like, and then any onyo, like, onyo day, like, even just being like a mom in general, like, I feel like already that's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then na bonyo chong, be 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 from other people's experiences too. A lot of people that are gonna watch this as well, I will tell you that I wish, I really wish my mom spoke the language with me or I really wish my mom put her foot down and like really had me learn. Because the other side of it too is that you have to be willing to and you don't really know the effects of the decision you're making or the consequence of the decision yeah, until you're an adult. Yeah, until you're right. much older. And, right. And it's nigh impossible for you to do Right. That. And I think <laughs> it, it's, it's one thing because I'm like, okay, a lot of people, like, my friends even, like, that speak or understand gum but they can't speak it. They're like, it's not even that my mom, if my, if, I think the thing is to be able to shift the blame from like let's say if it's me and i have my child and i don't i choose not to speak the language with them i'm doing them a disservice because yeah. it's it's different if they chose not to like learn it yeah. or speak it but it's another thing for me to take the choice away from them yeah. right and so i think that's another thing that like i just want to cover all my like like cover all your bases at least call it anything we can be a you can be a you've done your part okay Okay, right and i think there's a lot of there's a lot of people that like come out they're like oh mommy can hear me in lack of mommy you are in the name of the queen 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 of Okay. Thank, thanks a lot for doing this. Of course. Thanks. Thank you for coming to Canada. <laughs> I could tell you, I need a prime minister. <laughs> I was a prime reason, but thank you for visiting. Now, I need a prime minister. Uh, am yeah, I the prime minister? Okay, thanks for coming to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> ah, why not? Yeah. Maybe you need a politician. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> Thanks a lot for tuning in. I hope you you, you picked up some nuggets. If you are in the diaspora and thinking about you know whether or not to to make the effort um, to 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 get your children to speak um, your Ghanaian language, Hena is recommending that you do because there are a lot of benefits that come with it. At least she and her parents can gossip about people in public. Facts. That's all different than facts. Yeah, so uh, thanks for tuning in again, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.